In this video, I'll show you how to make up to $1,578 per day on YouTube with no editing skills, no camera, and from anywhere in the world. I'll also show you how to get paid even if you're not monetized at all. So stay tuned to find out how. Now, just before I show you everything, if you like this type of content and you'd like to see more, then support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up below. And so you don't miss out on any future videos to come, then click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. With all that said, let's now jump straight into the tutorial so I can show you everything. Okay, so today guys, I will show you how you can get paid through YouTube. And since it takes time for you to get monetized, I will show you how in the beginning you can make money without ad revenue at all as promised. With all that said, let me first off show you two different channels that are making a ton of money online. The first of those two channels is called Audio Library Music for Content Creators. And this channel has nearly 4 million subscribers as you can see. As the name suggests, whoever owns this channel is uploading music videos that literally have just a simple photo in the background and that's all there is to it. Take a look at this video here for example. It just contains a photo of someone on a boat that also runs throughout the entire video. And it's not the exception. Quite the contrary, actually. If you come back to the channel, you will see that the majority of videos are the same. They contain a simple photo and music in the background, and that's it. This also includes the most popular videos of this channel as well, like this one here, for example. And this is, guys, one of the main reasons you will want to create this kind of content. It's very simple to create such a video. Now, something of note is that there are videos like this one, for example, that contain clips as well. And while I don't think it's necessary to use them for your own videos, I will nevertheless show you where you can find both the photos and clips, and also the music as well. And believe it or not, this channel is uploading music from the same place you will be doing so as well. Anyways, it's not just the videos that are easy to make. The thumbnails are as well. The thumbnail is basically the same photo that you see in the video with some text over it, so you won't have to use Photoshop or whatever to create it. Now, with all that said, this channel is making a very decent amount of money, and if you come over to socialblade.com, you will see that the channel I just showed you is making between $2,000 and $38,000 a month. As you know, the numbers are in between most of the time, so this person is making, at the very least, $15,000 a month which is a very good amount of money when you think about it. Furthermore, if you scroll down, you will see that this channel got around 9 million views in the past month alone. And this is because people love these kind of music videos. And this, of course, means that you can make a lot of money creating them. Anyways, the second channel I want to show you today is the one here called No Copyright Sounds. This is a channel you might have heard about since it's one of the biggest channels on YouTube today with 30 million subscribers. But guess what? The videos are made in essentially the same fashion as the previous channel. They just contain a photo of a city or whatever, and that's it. And if you come over to Social Blade once again, you will see that this channel is making much more money than that previous one, between $30,000 and $500,000, which is just insane. If you scroll down, you will see that the amount of views accumulated in the past month is over $100 million. This is to show you that, as I said before, people love these music videos. And while you most likely won't be making six figures creating them, nor will you have 30 million subs, I can guarantee that using the strategy I will show you, you will be doing very well for yourself nonetheless. With all that said, let me now show you exactly where to find both the music and the photos. The photos you will want to find on one of these three platforms. The first is called pixabay.com. The second one is pexels.com and the third one is google.com. Now, something of note with Google is that when you search for a photo you want, you can't just download one of these because you will have copyright problems. To avoid them, you need to click on tools here, then on usage rights, and finally on Creative Commons licenses. This will now show you just the photos that are copyright free that you can download and use however you want to. With that said, I would highly recommend Pexels and Pixabay to find photos. These platforms will allow you to use the photos without copyright infringement. And the best part is, you can also download videos from here as well. So if you want to add some clips to your content, these two sites are places where you will want to find them. 
With that said, guys, what you basically need to do is search for a photo you want. You can use the two channels I showed you as inspiration, see which photos they are using to try and find similar or better ones yourselves. The ones I would highly recommend are the beach photos and the city at night photos as well. In any case, when you find a photo you like, all you gotta do is click on it. And before you click on free download right away, you wanna hover your mouse over this arrow, select custom size, and you wanna type in 1920 and 1080 if you want your video in 1080p resolution, or 1280 and 720 if you want your video to be in the 720p resolution. And only now do you want to click on free download. You want to do this so your photo fills the entire screen of the video and doesn't have black bars on the sides. And also so it's in HD quality as well. Now, when you are downloading your photo for a thumbnail, you want to do so exclusively in the 1280 by 720 resolution. And the photo you will want for your thumbnail should be the photo you will use for your video because as you've seen before, that's exactly how both of those channels are doing it. In any case, guys, once you download the photo that you will use for your video and also the photo for your thumbnail, it's now time for me to show you where you can find the music. And the place for that is, believe it or not, the YouTube audio library. To access it, you need to click on your YouTube logo and then select YouTube Studio just below. From there, on the left-hand side, you want to scroll down and select audio library. And if you remember from before, I did say that those channels are most likely using the library to find their music. And check this out. One of the oldest videos of that first channel has the YouTube Audio Library logo in the photo, as you can see. And I found this particular song in the YouTube Audio Library when I searched for it too. This shows you that whoever owns this channel has been using the library to download the music, and it's the perfect place to do so. Why? Well, first off, you are free to use the songs in the library and get monetized as well. Secondly, it's free to download them. And thirdly, there are thousands upon thousands of songs that you can find here. So you have an endless amount of options to choose from. You also have this filter option, which I highly advise you use to find the right type of song. When you find one you like, just hover your mouse over it and click on download right here. Now, once you have your song and photo, you need a video editing software. And the best one out there, guys, is called OpenShot over at openshot.org. This video editing software you can download and use completely free. And I will show you exactly what you need to do in order to create that video of yours. Okay, so I am Sony Vegas, guys. Now, keep in mind that what I'm about to do is the very same thing you will do in OpenShot. So you don't require Sony Vegas for this whatsoever. Now, as you can see, the photo is located above the audio or music just below. And basically what you need to do is drag your photo like so until it matches the length of your audio. And that's literally it. You now just need to render it. And depending on if you want it in 1080p or 720p, you will select the option you want and just click on render. And that's it. You have your video. And as you've seen, this took me like a minute to do. It's all simple and easy stuff. With that done, now that you have your video, it's time for me to show you a way to get paid without ad revenue, guys. And it's through this site here called fileupload.com. The way this site works is you upload a file on here for free. And whenever someone downloads it, you will get paid as a result. And as you know, people will want to link to the song you uploaded so they can actually download it and you can use that in order to make money. What you will basically do is upload your song on file upload here grab that link and then paste it in the description of your video. And when people start downloading the song, you will be able to make money without being monetized at all. Now, what you must do first is create an account here. To do so, just click on sign up here. Once you create your account, all you need to do is click on start uploading files now in order to upload your song and grab that link. The link which you will then go ahead and paste in the description of your video, as I said. And in this fashion, you will be able to get paid with no monetization in the beginning. Now, by far the hardest part will be getting views. And it will take some time, but I can promise you that if you stay persistent with your uploads, you will eventually get more and more views and get monetized. And from there, it only gets easier while the amount of money made will increase. Anyways, this is it for today's video, guys. As always, if you liked it and if you are enjoying my content, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up below to support my channel. And in case you don't want to miss out any future videos, just like this one, 
Then click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications, and you'll be notified whenever a new video pops up. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.